without a doubt, one of the most important things that happens in a family is how the members of that family communicate to each other. It can be one of our biggest problems because there are so many things that get in the way of good communication. Uh, let me tell you about one. There, there's always in a communication among family members some words. Don't you do that when you talk to someone? You, when you're trying to help a person change the behavior, get them to see something, you almost always use words. Blah, 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 blah. And there's always some other things as well. Notice my hands. There's always your posture. There's always the look on your face. There's always the inflection of your voice. There's a great deal of action in addition to just the words. And what happens is sometimes the words and the actions are not the same. What I've been doing for a couple of years is keeping a list of examples where not only are the words and the actions not the same, that is, on different levels, but they are exactly the opposite, where the words are saying one thing and the actions something else. Let me give you some examples. It's the mother who says, how many times have I told you to stop yelling from room to room? To which the kid replies, I'm not yelling. Or it's the father who, coming upon two of his youngsters fighting, grabs a hold of one and says, don't you know you're not supposed to hit people? I saw one at Little League last year. Seventh inning, first game of the year. 11-year-old boy comes up to bat. The bat was just shaking in his hand, helmet on the side of his head, just shaking, very nervous. He had never, ever been struck out. He would never, ever batted to be struck out. The first pitch came, whew! Umpire said, Steve, ride. Kid never moved, just quivered. Down at first base, in the coach's box, 40 years old, athletic, mature, sinewy, supportive, understanding type person, right? You know what he's doing? Relax, relax up there. Veins are popping out, fingers are clutched. And of course the kid now didn't know what to do except just the opposite of what he wanted him to do. You know, I even saw one in church. Not long ago, a man in the front was saying, by the love of God, and his fangs were hanging out, his fist was clenched. Interesting piece of research which says, if the two are different, people will react to the part that is not the words. If you want good communication in your family, you need to get the words and the actions together.